Hi, so this is going to be a video, I have no idea what this video is going to be about until I'm done. So I've been thinking a lot about being alone in this religion that I am in. Um, I know that there are people in this in this world that are pagan, a lot of people actually, but it is really, really hard to find friends who you can actually experience things with. And it bugs me to a really large degree in a way because I don't think it's very fair. Um, I know that there's people online and I know that there's ways to like, you know, meetup.com and witchbox, whatever. Like I know that there's resources, but the likelihood of meeting someone on the street and saying, hey, I'm pagan, are you? Like, it's just so unlikely. And in this kind of spiritual path I'm on, it would just be so nice to have a friend, have someone that knows what I what I believe in and knows and understands because they believe in it as well. Um, not that I don't love my friends, because I do. I love all of them. But, you know, and they're very supportive of my path. They're very supportive. You know, a lot of them are Christian. Most of them are Christian. I have, you know, a few of them are atheists. Um, a few of them don't really know what they are. You know, they're just spiritual people. But none of them consider themselves pagan or Wiccan or a witch or, you know, anything like that. And... sucks sometimes you know I have I'll have a party at my house and you know I'll do you know a Maybon party a summer solstice party and they'll all come and they'll all love it and they all participate and they all want to you know know as much as they can and, and they're very interested and they want to learn and they want to be involved but I want I just want to be able to call someone up and talk to somebody about what it, what I'm going through and, and instead of listening to my mom, not that I don't love my mom, but, you know, instead of having them, you know, ask God for help or, you know, God has a plan. But guess what? Like, I don't, I don't believe in your God. I don't believe in, I don't believe what you believe. Like, I can still take something from her advice and, you know, put it in God's hands, whatever. Like, okay, you know, I can still, it's just not the same. It's definitely not the same. I don't, I want to call up a friend and then, you know, give me pagan advice, <laughs> give me a witch, witch's advice, and, and I live in such a big city, I live in New York City, and you would think that there would be, it would be crawling with pagans, and it's really not, I mean, it, you know, I'm sure that there are pagans out there, I've met a couple, you know, there's one pagan store, one witch store in this entire city, a city of 8 million people, New York City, like the largest city in the world, not in the world, in America, and it's nothing, like one store, one witch store, and I go in there, and, you know, and there's hardly ever anybody in it, it's just like, what is happening? Like, where are all the witches? Where are they? I think that's what I'm going to name this video, where are all the witches? <laughs> Um, you know, if anybody from New York City sees this and, you know, message me on here, like hit me up, like let's have, let's be friends, let's do something because I want, I want pagan support in my life. I want witchy support. I want a friend that I can actually like celebrate a sabbat with and an esbot with. I want, and, and I went to a meetup and it wasn't for me. It wasn't. It wasn't for me. Everyone there was very pretentious, and it was like, like they were the pagan group, the witch group in New York. You know, their small little clique, and it was like, we're better than everybody because we're the the witches of New York City, and it was, it just bugged me. Um. 
so I don't I don't go on meetup and look for you know rituals in New York City because it's just that one group of people and it's like they're not very not my thing uh so it's just a very lonely path sometimes it can be very lonely um in Florida it was not lonely at all I had a lot of friends that were pagan I don't know what it was about Orlando where I where I lived but I I found friends very very quickly but surprisingly in New York City I can't find them anywhere and in West Virginia like forget about it forget about it like my hometown is Clarksburg West Virginia is not a place where you will find pagans or a pagan store or anything that has to do with anything else besides Christianity uh a lot of, luckily, thankfully, a lot of my friends in West Virginia still support me and, you know, love me and are interested in my path. I'm kind of going off topic here, but they don't talk to me anymore, especially a lot of my mother's friends. They've kind of, they've deleted me off Facebook. They have put me on prayer lists and, you know, talk about being alone. Um, it's ridiculous there. But, yeah, I just, I just hate that they're, you know, it's, it's popular as Christianity is. Like, you can walk down the street and line up ten people, even in New York City, and I guarantee six out of those ten people are going to be Christian. Um, you know, if I, if I was a Christian, I would have so many friends. I could, you know, go to church with me. And do the blah, 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 blah. Like, I just, I just think paganism is so lonely sometimes, you know? And I know that the point, the point of the religion is not to have friends and do things with friends, but it is, to an extent, I mean, we are human beings and we want to be with other human beings. We, we want to have emotional connections with people and on a spiritual level, that would be really, really fucking nice. Um, I don't know, I'm just venting about how lonely it is, I guess, but, well, that was my rant, and thank you for listening, ta-ta for now.